Hey everyone, I just want to make a quick video this morning on sleep and how it affects your well-being, your overall well-being, your mental health, depression, anxiety, your thinking, your clarity of mind, and just being present. Uh, if you're not getting good sleep, which is slow wave sleep, you're not going to function like you're supposed to. I'm just I'm totally convinced that if you don't have good slow wave sleep, you're not going to function correctly. And especially if you have depression, anxiety, other issues, and uh, confused thoughts, scatterbrain thinking, all kinds of things. In your sleep state, when you get into slow wave sleep, it just repairs your mind and your body. And you can wake up refreshed and feeling like you can do anything and like you're okay. My problem is I normally go to REM sleep, which is just a little bit higher state, not fully asleep, but asleep in the dream state. And I spend a lot of time in my dream state thinking about things and dreaming about things that are going on in my head. And, um, that's not very restful sleep. And you wake up tired and groggy and just not at your best, right? And I know we've all had a night where we've slept really good and woke up refreshed and felt good. It's like, wow. And I know some people sleep like that all the time, but there's a bunch of you out there that sleep like me where you don't get to that slow wave phase where you get the real rest and you wake up refreshed. I hardly ever get there. But that is crucial and so important to your mental health, your well-being, um, your ability to function correctly, accomplish things, think clearly, you know, diminish your depression, diminish your anxiety, and have clear thoughts. So some way you gotta figure out how to get into that deeper sleep. It's called slow wave sleep, look it up. Um, I've tried different things to help me sleep. I have low back pain, so that's a factor. My back makes me toss and turn all night and I just don't get there. Um, different medications for sleeping, you know, like Benadryl. Uh, sometimes I take anti-inflammatories for my back to get the back pain to stop so I can sleep through that. But I still never get into that deeper sleep. But last night, um, I took a Klonopin and a Gabapentin. So Gabapentin is for nerve pain. It also helps you relax a little bit. And I took a Klonopin that was one milligram. Now I've taken it before and I never really noticed uh, the same experience. But last night when I took the Klonopin and the Gabapentin, I definitely got into the slow wave sleep. I don't remember my dreams. I slept like a rock. I slept in one position. That's the other thing. I didn't toss and turn. Normally, I toss and turn probably 50 to 100 times a night, like from side to side. So like, I'm awake like all night long, tossing and turning, rolling over in my bed. Last night, I slept on one side in one position almost all night long. And when I woke up, I was still laying in that same position. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. That never happens. So, needless to say, I woke up refreshed, and uh, I don't know what the magic bullet is for you, and I don't know what it is for me. I just know last night that it worked. I'm not counting on it to happen again because I'm just so finicky, but wow. If we can just find a way to get into slow wave sleep, our bodies and minds will repair so much better than if we're just in REM sleep. You gotta look up the difference between REM sleep and slow wave. Slow wave sleep is what you wanna get into. You gotta get into that. And then you wake up refreshed and ready for the day and you can accomplish anything and you're just feeling good. You feel refreshed, you're pumped, you're doing good and you just know it. You know it's because you slept good. So I don't have much information on that. Everybody's different. I don't know what's gonna work for you but you gotta figure out for yourself what you can do to start sleeping better. If you struggle with anything, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, just you have low energy all day and all you wanna do is take naps, it's cause you're not getting the proper rest where you rest and rebuild. So I encourage you 
to find out what it is you need to do to get to the slow wave sleep phase and you will be amazed and you'll finally wake up refreshed and you're not going to want to take a nap all day long and you're going to feel better anxiety is going to diminish depression is going to be gone it is amazing i'm here to tell you all right if you like my video give it a thumbs up throw me some feedback in the comments and subscribe to my channel rabbitronics and click on my face right here on the right side of your video peace